Hey everyone, welcome back, and welcome to my review of ep episode 4 of Brothers Conflict. Now, the overall, um, the episode has no title where I'm looking right now. Basically, the overall summary of this episode is that Tsubaki and Azusa find out that the first anime they ever worked on has been renewed for a second season, which is never named in this uh, episode because they don't want to tell anyone, it, even their sister, because it hasn't been like, officially announced to the public yet. Thrilled, they both auditioned. Tsubaki auditions for the lead and Azusa auditions for the lead's rival. Tsubaki later finds out that he did not get picked to be his character and instead Azusa did. Emma got the game demo from Natsume and was playing the shit out of it. A lot of hours into it actually. She defeated the mobs but didn't level up. She calls Natsume to ask for help and to meet her at a cafe. Natsume arrived and said that if you don't level up in the level before you want to level up in the desert level, Asuza calls Natsume to ask if he has seen, and, or he basically tells her that he's basically using her as the as the uh, game tester in a sense. I Asuza called Natsume to ask if he has seen Tsubaki. Not, Natsume told Emma that uh, Azusa got the lead role instead of Tsubaki. She walks home and finds Azusa sitting in front of the of the house. She tells him that if he quits, Tsubaki won't be happy and that she liked his voice. As he was about to say, no he won't, Tsubaki comes out and says that yes, I wouldn't be happy. Tsubaki tells him to call back his manager to say he'll do the job. Tsubaki asks Emma to accompany him in his comforting party. He asks her if she likes his voice too and she says yes. She also says that if it do doesn't matter who wins or loses as long as you stay true to yourself. Tsubaki kisses Emma and says for a guy to get back on his feet, all he needs is a kiss from a cute girl. Which, if all my opinion on that, it can be true, but not 100% of the time. Depends on how depressed they are. <laughs> and how isolated they are. Sometimes a combination of both. He kisses, but this, that's a topic for another video entirely. I could go like an hour to this, this shit. He kisses her again in shock. She does not fight back. You later see that Hikaru watches them kiss and says what a sh shame your your siblings too. So... And that's basically the plot summary of this episode. And it was pretty a pretty good episode, once again. Um, probably one of my favorite parts of the episode was actually seeing Emma play the game, because I am a huge gamer as well. Obviously, if you haven't pay, been paying attention to the gaming shit on my channel, and it was actually kind of fun. The game sounds so fun. I wonder if it's a real game. <laughs> I wonder if it's a real game that's coming out in the future. <laughs> that would be awesome. I forget what it was called, but I don't usually look it up, though. But, yeah. Um, so that was probably my favorite part. Also, I thought it was... I liked it, but I thought it was awkward to the kiss at the end of the episode. It's like... You know, they're siblings, and they kissed, and Emma didn't really push away or anything, and like I said, I liked it, but it felt kind of awkward as well. Alright, and I also like that since, you know, she's, Natsume's her uh, older brother, so he was actually willing to send her the demo, which I thought was actually kind of nice. You know, too bad I don't have any family members, at least no matter I know of in a, in a game development... In a game, de I get game development studio that I really like. Or friends. God damn it. But, overall though, the episode was pretty good. You know, this series so far isn't spectacular, but it's, a, but it's still a pretty good series so far. I'm enjoying it so far. So anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Exactly guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.